thank you all so much for coming. We have a record turnout tonight. And in particular, I want to thank all of my friends for coming. My first memory of Dr. Jacob was uh, walking into Beis Yaakov at Rabbi Rebbe Minshul. This is probably around uh, 15 years ago, and uh, handing me an, a check because he had some money he wanted to give to Tzedakah <laughs> on a day that I really needed it, which was a pretty normal day. Dr. Jacob is, in many ways, the embodiment of what Torah Semes and Torah Chaim are all about. He's a person who's passionate about his Yiddishkeit. He is sincere and motivated in everything that he does, competent, professional, and he really encompasses all of the aspects of what a Torah Jew should be. Again, I think that uh, there are people that do chesed, and there are balei chesed, and then there are people that just bring it to a new level. We had an, uh, a, a situation in Beis Yaakov many years ago where two girls came to the school, and it was very apparent based on their family situation and their home situation, that they needed to get out of the house and needed to go somewhere else. So uh, the first person I thought of was the, the Jacobs. I called uh, Mrs. Jacob that afternoon. I said, I need a home for two girls. And her reaction was, oh, OK, it's OK with me. I just have to ask Alan. And I got a phone call that night, and Mrs. Jacob told me, no problem, the way she talks. And uh, they moved into that house. They were there for several months. This is totally unusual. And it really is, uh, manifests uh, unbelievable commitment to chesed. And it's a, it shows a selflessness you just don't see around. Hey, Alan has definitely been a, a true role model for many Balabatim in this community in, in, in ways of uh, in, in being people who are truly successful in life, successful in their, in, in their, in their spirit of giving, in their spirit of community activism. He's been truly somebody who's sh shown in, in all these areas and has really been uh, someone who everyone looks up to. Dr. Jacobs is a, a Talmud in this year but he's also a teacher in this year. He's a Talmud in the sense that he's constantly working hard to understand. He comes to Seder. He's there all Seder. He has a Chavrusa. He prepares. He asks questions. He gives answers. But he also acts as a teacher, both he helps out some of the fellows. And just his presence and the tremendous amount of hard work that he puts in acts as a tremendous inspiration to the entire yeshiva. Torah Chaim has really become the, the focal point of my life. It's, I, I, I'm there early in the morning, and I'm there all day, just about every day. Uh, I'm involved with the shiurim. I teach there. Uh, I'm involved with the students in other capacities. And, you know, it's really the focal point. It's where I am all the time, every day, or most of the time. And uh, uh, I'm the beneficiary of that experience, but on the other hand, it's a terrific way to spend your day. When we first moved here, there weren't all that many choices. And when we met the group that came down from New York, Rabbi Chait, Rabbi Grimblatt, Rabbi Nyman, um, they presented us with something that sounded so wonderful that you couldn't help but get involved. And you know, the way it has worked out is our involvement has remained. A, it's a big part of our lives. One of my dearest friends today is Mrs. Rucha Bellman who I consider to be a major mentor. And her husband, Rabbi Bauman, is the principal of Torah Semes. And they've been in the community a very long time. They're incredibly special people. And Rucha has changed my life in many ways, personally. Uh, I attend many of her classes. And I just consider it a joy to be a friend. We have a mutual admiration society, I think. Um, the wonderful aspects of Sandy's personality, her giving, her warmth, her love of just having fun and making things fun, um, her letting things slide off her back so that she can get on with what she needs to do. And I feel I grow tremendously from, from her friendship. Many people in this room tonight who know exactly what I'm talking about, and they could personally attest to the help and the difference that Dr. Jacob has made in their life, pulling them through difficult times, allowing them to look to a brighter future, allowing them to celebrate simchas with great 
greater depth and greater feeling and greater appreciation because he has been there to help in many, many different ways. I remember once discussing with her um, a certain problem in the yeshiva and her empathy, her caring about this one individual and how he wasn't doing as well as he could be doing and what could she do to help. Um, just very moved me that she really cared not just about the institution, which she does care about, but about each individual, especially special individuals, and everybody seems to be special as she cares about them. Uh, the building was not in the greatest shape, and when they built the dorm, somebody had to clean the bathrooms, and we went on a Sunday morning and on our hands and knees cleaned the bathrooms. Right before it opened. Right before it opened. I remember when Teres Chaim first set up their dorm, the fun she had in making sure that the soap dishes matched the um, quilt covers, just for these guys who didn't expect anything beyond a shower stall and a bare bed frame. She cared to make it a beautiful place for them so that they could feel good, and they did. <laughs> they really appreciated it. What I really love about Sandy is her fun attitude and her open-mindedness. There is nothing I have ever enjoyed in my life more than teaching. It, to be in a classroom and interact with the Talmudin is the greatest thrill that I've ever experienced. And uh, it, it's something that I look forward to every day and hope to be able to do for many years. Um, you're dealing with very, very honest people who don't have hidden agendas, who are only interested in, in the truth and are very receptive and they're very sharp. They force you to deal with the truth and think and communicate. And it's a fabulous experience. And uh, they're, they're, I've done a lot of things. I've been the chairman of a public company. I've practiced medicine. I've been an associate assistant professor at the University of Miami School of Medicine. I've had a lot of jobs in my day. And uh, there has nothing that I have done has given me as much pleasure as teaching. Teaching is a lot of entertainment, a lot of choreography. Um, it's a performing art. <laughs> and uh, in the process of your performance, one must inject as much material as possible and inject attitudes and philosophies and try to train the Talmudian for success in life through, through Torah. That's what teaching is about. I think he's an awesome, I think he, I think he should have been a Rebbe his whole life. I think he's amazing, he's a born teacher. To be able to stop working and to learn Torah is an incredible thing because we know that Chazal say, always cast his lead by Kesser. Someone who loves money never has enough. You see, obviously this is not Dr. Jacob because he stopped working to come and learn Torah, something that he values very much. He's, his motivation skills, his, his ability to motivate his students to keep on learning it, to keep on going, is incredible, which no teacher has. He makes every new section, like if it's a brand new story, brand new book, and he makes it very exciting and he makes learning very interesting for all of his Talmudim. The one thing that you hope that a Rebbe has is that not only will he impact you when you're in a shir, but his impact will stay with you for years and years to come. And the one thing that I can promise you that every single person in this room will have is the impact of Dr. Jacob in the future. Whenever they pick up a piece of Gemara, they will be able to lay in it, and anything that they will be able to do, there is part of Dr. Jacob in there. Thank you very much, Dr. Jacob, for teaching us and me uh, how, to, how to lay in a piece of Gemara. And I never had so much clarity, I think, in a whole parak of Gemara as I've had in this, in this shir.